Two men at arms, coming down, Sir Geoffrey. Two men at arms, eh? <laughs> Poor rogues. You know what to do? You know the road, Deacon? Are we far from home? No, no more than a couple of leagues, sir. We'll reach Rainer before night, <laughs> Dickens. No, he's dead. Outlaws? Or Prince John's men? That arrow came straight along the road. I'm no coward, but here we're just sitting tight. <laughs> right for your life, Oliver! The young squire and his page, sir. They're galloping this way. The other two are down. Then the odds are more to my liking. The Jeffrey of Bilton. Why, Nigel of Raynham, we are well met indeed. I need your help. Two of my men have just been murdered. I give no help to traitors. Traitors? But how fortunate I am to have found you. They're looking for you everywhere. Looking for me? Who's looking for me? I don't understand. Who's that fellow? Surely you know Hobb. The tool with which you sought to murder Prince John. You lie! But Hobb has confessed. He shot at our royal master with a crossbow. And you paid him. Listen. You shot at the prince while he was hunting, didn't you? Didn't you? Uh, aye, master, if you say so. Seize him! Throw down that sword or we'll riddle you with arrows. Well, which is it to be? A fair trial or a quick death? A fair trial from John? My father shall hear of this. I hope so. I'll tell him, Nigel. I say this conference is a waste of time. I disagree, Sir Robert. All the barons and knights of the Shire are not as loyal to King Richard as we are. There are waverers who must be won over before they declare for Prince John. We must reason. But they are just words, and I'm all for action. Well, there'll be action enough when we're ready. But we're not yet, and neither is John. Why, well, he daren't march against us while Raynham Castle holds fast to the king. I'll wager he'd, he'd give his right hand to capture that stronghold of yours. <laughs> you just let him try. No, he won't. Well, at least I don't think so. Not by force of arms. He's too clever to risk certain defeat. Well, Raynham is the strongest castle in the whole of Yorkshire. It bars the Great North Road. While its garrison defies John, the waverers won't support him. But I'm an old war horse, bred for battle. I've never been taught to, to fight with me tongue. Why, even my wife said that any fool could outwit me in the council chamber. And 
But Lady Ursula knows that no man can argue against stone and steel. Now, while Raynham Castle is held by your men at arms, King Richard's cause is safe. Ivanhoe, you trust Sir Ranulf? No. Ah. But why are we putting our necks into this noose? We came to Camden under a pledge of safe conduct. With so much at stake, it was worth the risk. Yes, Garth? This lad wishes to see Sir Robert. He's got bad news. Is it about my son? Oliver. Is it Nigel? He's being held by Sir Geoffrey of Bilton for plotting against the life of Prince John. Infamous. By St. George, I'll teach that puppy a lesson. I'll ride to Bilton with every man that I can muster. Sir Ivanhoe, will you ride with me? No, sir, we don't. This may be a trick. Prince John would do much to weaken us before the conference. And to rescue Nigel is your first duty. To speak for King Richard is mine. Go, sir, and may good luck go with you. Plotting against the life of Prince John. Well, there he goes, the old fire eater. I wouldn't be in Sir Geoffrey's shoes for all the gold in London town. <laughs> Come on, then. Should we begin the conference tonight? Sir Robert has left us. He was called away. He begged to be excused. I have bad news. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we to argue all night? No. My lords, let us agree now to stand together for the Lionheart. Prince John cannot prevail against us if we are united. And make no mistake, when King Richard returns home, he will know how to reward his friends and his enemies. If we declare against John openly, we will risk our estates and our lives. If all men grow as timid as you, Sir Henry, the cause will be lost. Face back, Sir Ivanhoe. It is lost already. With Richard a prisoner abroad, the realm has become a battlefield. What England needs is law and order, under the strong hand of King John. King John, Sir Ranulph? Well, why not? If we stand together, as you suggest, we can crown him whenever we choose. Prince John will never lord it over England so long as Sir Robert holds Raynham Castle for Richard. <laughs> that may not be for long. You mean Sir Robert has gone over to John? We shall see. You've either said too much or too little. Explain yourself, Sir Ranulph. Very well. As you have said, Raynham Castle is the key to the north. So, for the good of the realm, it will shortly be delivered into my hands. By noon tomorrow, Prince John's banner will wave from its walls. This sounds like treachery. <laughs> An ugly word. I prefer to call it policy. If Raynham surrenders, I, for one, will declare for Prince John. And I. And I. And I. Thank you, gentlemen. And you, sir. Are you not tired of disorder? If you would put an end to it, come, range yourself with us. Even you, sir. I... I have no choice. I have no liking for the company of traitors. Fare you well. I came to Camden under a pledge of safe conduct. That's true, Sir Ranulph. You gave your word we'd be free to go. Sir Ivanhoe absolved me from that oath when he drew steel in my hall. Would you have him tell the whole shire that we've gone over to Prince John? No. He must remain my guest for a while. Disarm him. <laughs> Have your orders. Take him away.
This is a sorry business. I agree. But Ivanhoe is out of the way until Raynham is in our hands. Only till then? My dear Sir Jocelyn, surely you don't think that I would harm him? My thoughts are my own. <coughs> Sir, are you all right? Yes. Well, they got you. Yes, they took me while I was having my supper. And they clapped me in here before I could swallow it. Ah, my old friend. Farewell, Sir Ranulf. Well, Sir Henry, we meet at Raynham tomorrow. If Raynham Castle falls, you can count on us all, sir. Of course it will fall. Are they with us? If we take Raynham, what's your news? Nigel is in my hands. Ah. Sir Robert knows it and will ride to the rescue. My castle is quite small, but I believe I can hold out long enough for you to take Raynham. Raynham? The key to the north held by only a handful of men. Good, Geoffrey. I march at dawn. I shall have to ride very hard to reach Bilton before Sir Robert. Have a care for yourself. That fierce old wolf loves his cub. He might bite you. Not while I have Nigel as hostage. Give me till noon tomorrow, and you can make what terms you please. Give this to a dog. Neither would I. Yeah. Sir so Ranulph means to poison us. No need to poison folks as lies in the water dungeon. Why not? Oh, dies natural deaths, they does. Sooner or later. What do you mean? Well, some dies easy and some dies hard of fever or chills or the shivering sickness. Tight healthy down there, you know, below the level of the moat. Damp gets into your bones and rots them. Doubles you up too, sooner or later. But you're a big lusty fella. You might last a long time. Oh, I've seen them last, oh, five years. But it's the water, you know. Seeps in day after day, night after night. Make another sound that you last. Understand? Open that door. Open it, I say. Enjoy your supper. I hope you'll be missed, because if you stay here too long, you may catch cold. Sooner or later. Sir Ranulph marches at dawn to attack Raynham. So soon? Sir Robert left with half his garrison to rescue his son. Decoyed away. A trick, Ivanhoe. So it may well succeed. We must hurry. Come on. Guards will be mustering, so Easier said than done. How are we going to get past the guards on the gate? Right boldly across the drawbridge, of course. But, sir, they never let us pass. I think you forget I'm Sir Jocelyn of Ord. Sir Jocelyn's right. Who dare stop this famous night? If he's free to leave, so are we as his followers. But you'd be recognized, sir. Look out! Now, Sir Jocelyn, you didn't come to Camden alone. Where are your soldiers? Drinking with Sir Ranulph's men, if I know them. You shall be my escort. I may be too old to fight, but I'm not too old to buff the King's enemies. Come, sir. Well, this is where we part company, Sir Jocelyn. You've served Richard well. I'll serve him better yet, Ivanhoe, when I've roused the Knights of the Shire. So I'll try and organize the defense of Raynham. Fare thee well, Sir Jocelyn. Come on, Gath. Hello! 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 Is that old drunk?
Don't go dead. Where's the garrison? Greetings, Ivanhoe. My lady. And you too, Gerb. My lady. You may go back to your post, Robin. You may go, Robin. Old age can be very sad sometimes. That poor old broken man of arms once held a bridge for an hour, single-handed. Yes, but you younger men to defend the castle. Where are they? Well, I sent them away. You did what? The Scots are over the border and ravaging Durham. Could I refuse my help? Our last fighting men left for the north an hour ago, when the beacons blazed. Great heaven! What garrison have you? Well, only old Robin, three other ancients, and the women. Why? Sir Ranoff marched against you at dawn this morning with all his men. Oh, no. No. What time did your husband leave for Bilton? Soon after midnight. Gert, you must ride after him, bring him back. I can't leave you alone here, sir. If Raynham falls, all the waverers will rally to John. Right, sir. Now, my lady, we must organize some defense for the castle. Old Robin, you say, three other ancients and the women. How many women? About 40. 40. Are there 40 suits of mail in the armory? Yes. Good. Then women shall man the walls of Raynham. Women at arms? And I shall lead them? No, no my lady. You'll be needed to talk to Sir Ranulph. Alice? My lady? Did every woman in Raynham join me in the armory? My tiring maids, the serving women? Even the kitchen wenches, all. Yes, my lady. Wait for me on the walls, Ivanhoe. I will bring you your men. What's the block of wood for? Well, I'll make such a little girl. Well, I've made the rounds. Your women make a brave show. is well defended, my lord. Men in armor on all the battlements. Go back. Tell the footman to halt and rest a while under cover. What could have happened, Sir Reynolds? I can't think. But to attack now and fail would mean ruin. We'll reconnoiter Raynham ourselves. Forward. <laughs> My lady, and one of them carries the banner of Sir Ranulph. Here comes a summons to surrender. But Sir Ranulph is almost alone. Where are all his archers and spearmen? And they're resting. They've been marching since dawn. Sir Ranulph's far too clever a warrior to march them straight into battle, tired. Now, somehow we must keep them at a distance. Can't have your husband having to fight his way into his own castle when he returns. Time is our best ally. Greetings, Sir Ranulph. Welcome to Raynham. Do you come in peace or war? That is for your husband to decide. My husband has nothing to say to you. Then I beg you give him this message in the name of Prince John. If he will save his folk all the horrors of the stormy, he will open his gates and yield Raynham to me within the hour. I can give you his answer now. He defies you. While we have brave men to guard our walls. Put an arrow through that spearman beside Lady Ursula. Ah! <laughs> by St. George, did you ever hear the like? This castle is defended by women. <laughs> did you hear that? All is lost. No, we have an hour. Persuade Sir Ranulph to meet you at the end of that time in the Great Hall, alone except for his squire. Shall I grant them safe conduct? Yes. Sir Ranulph? My lady? It would seem, sir, that you have won. But I would make the best terms I can. 
When the hour has passed, the gates will be opened. Meet me in my hall. I will. And Sir Ranulph, you will come attended by a single squire. How can I be sure that we shall return alive? What? From a castle defended by women? Is Sir Ranulph afraid? My maids cannot harm you. And you have my word. It shall be as you say, within the hour. And tell Sir Robert I envy him. He married a woman of spirit. How's Alice? She's recovering. Sir Randolph is coming. Yes, now, you know what to do. Yes, hide, quickly. It grieves me to distress you, lady. Save your sorrow for Prince John. But my master will be overjoyed to hear of your surrender. Who spoke of surrender? Who spoke of what else? I thought we met here to discuss terms. Why, yes, but... I'm a woman. By the laws of chivalry, I can appoint a champion to fight you. What? Fight single combat with one of your serving maids? <laughs> what shall we use? Cooking pots or um, needle and thread? No. With swords, Sir Ranulph. Ivanhoe. Here is my champion. You'll meet me? Of course. Outside the gates, then. In an hour. Another hour? Can you be playing for time? No, Sir Ivanhoe. If we are to fight, it shall be here and now. But I gave my word that you should leave Raynham alive. If you should fall, the world would cry murder. I release you from your pledge. And my squire shall carry the news of your courtesy. Go at once to my men. What are they attack? Treasury! Castle unguarded, did you? Well, in future you command your wenches and leave the men at arms to me. Do you understand? Ha <laughs> ha! Faith, wife. I'm glad I found you safe. And see what I brought you. Your son. Nigel! Oh, Sir Robert, we never dared hope to see you back so soon. Why didn't Sir Geoffrey hold Nigel as hostage? He didn't have a chance. Before he could open his mouth to threaten me, I had challenged him. There in front of his men. Sir Geoffrey could hardly refuse. And in front of his gates, he died. And when he was gone, the rogue surrendered. And so Nigel was safe. Not only Nigel, sir. The whole country. Well, there'll be no more talk of treason now that Raynham holds firm for the king. <laughs> and John can whistle for Micastle, thanks to you and the women. But there still remains Ranulph. We have an affair to settle. By the looks of him, it's already been settled. <laughs> he is yours, Ivanhoe. Do with him as you please. Thank you for nothing, Sir Robert. The gift is not exactly to my choosing. Well, do you expect mercy? I ask none. You shall have it. From me. Although I can't speak for Prince John. What do you mean? Go back to the prince and tell him that his trickery has failed. And that Raynham never will be his now that his ramparts are guarded by men again. I think that should convince the waverers. And I think that Prince John will know how to reward you.
Let him go. Speed of lightning, bold and brave and gay. In justice he is fighting to win a better day. Shout a cheer, adventure is here. Fighting.